everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Profilfamine here, and today I'm playing some more Balloons Adventure and Power Defense. We are doing Ultra Bar Phantom Arslan. Uh, so yeah, I promised that we would do this yesterday in yesterday's video, and today we are actually gonna do it. Uh, so we are on Blackheart, the second hardest map in the game, and one of two maps with five skull difficulty. Uh, not exactly a clear way of measuring things, since as far as I'm concerned, a four star map that's fortified is far harder than this map, but. You know, I guess they're judging clearly on the map and not on the random extra modifiers, difficulty modifiers they add on. Uh, so yeah, obviously we're gonna be doing a pop mode. Uh, Hunter Marston could not be in pop mode on the easiest map, but she got really close without any support. I feel like what support she'll be able to do on this map since she has full map range. The fact that this map, um, well, let me rephrase this. One of the biggest difficulties with this map is not that it's a short map, because it's actually quite long, it's that there's no or very few points where it overlaps. In fact, the main point where it overlaps is over water, which makes things more difficult. Uh, so because of that, there's not a lot of good placements for towers, but a full map range tower can have a pretty big advantage on the map. I believe balloons also come from both directions, which can make things more difficult for another infinite range tower like Marceline, so lots of issues there. Uh, but yeah, Hunter Marceline, very similar build. I did switch out, once again, the uh, Doom Gauntlets for Cosmic Gauntlets. I feel like, although the ability coin down is nice, I think the Pierce is going to be more helpful. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, I did go over the builds there. And then I'm also going to be using Warrior PB, as well as Nazi for Charlie. Normal Marceline, we have Tuxedo Jake, with I guess the same trinket again. Uh, and Princess Bubblegum for buffs. Uh, summer upgrades, summer trinkets, summer weapons, PBs for an upgrade, warrior PBs for the trinkets, Tuxedo Jakes for both, um, Marceline's for the weapon, and I believe that's all four characters buffing them. I will also be using Cobras and stuff like that to make money, and also for their ability cooldown reductions. And, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into this, because it's already taken up far too long. That was still over two minutes. That was too long. <laughs> uh, but no, we are here, we are ready. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Where do I want to place into Marceline? It doesn't matter a ton, uh, but I still think I want it kind of close to the entrance. So let's go there and let's do the uh, the figure eight, but not, I guess, because it's figure eight sideways. The the vertical figure eight. Is vertical sideways? No, horizontal sideways. So vertical is upright. There we go. Yes, the vertical figure eight. Are figure eights always horizontal? Or is figure eight horizontal infinity? Whatever, the point is this is the shape. You can see the path. You understand it's not important. Uh, and then at which point, we should probably go for some Cobras, get our money making set up as fast as possible, so we can, well, so we can get all of our buffs as soon as possible, and see the extreme powers of Hunter Marceline. So it should be pretty powerful. Uh, hard to know for sure, obviously, but it should definitely be pretty good. I do still have Monkey Farm, correct? I do, so that's always good. Which means I don't have to manually pick up everything, which can get quite annoying very, very, very fast. So, luckily, don't have to do that. Uh, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I don't always say it, but I say it in most videos, and I want to say it now so I don't forget. Hope you guys have some fun, did something good, and are having a good time watching this and maybe others' video- or maybe other videos, not others. Though I guess, yeah, feel free to watch others' videos as well. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys are having a good time. I will drop Tixier Jake now simply because he is money making. I thought I had more Cobras than this. It's, I think it's because I unequipped Sam and Commander Cassie to fit in more support characters. Which means we lost two Cobras because, yeah, Commander Cassie and Sam have some of the best allies that can be equipped to them. Uh, like they have Tech Terrors, they have Cobras, they have Water Nymphs, Vampire Kings, all sorts of stuff like that. It's pretty insane. Is Hunter Marceline struggling already? I feel like Hunter Marceline is struggling already, which I don't love. Um, okay, that's the majority of money making. I'm not going to go for Superstar, so let's actually get some upgrades here. Uh, in particular, Soul Steel, that's pretty important. Yeah, that was bad. That was actually somewhat challenging. Let's get some more upgrades here, because that doesn't look too great. Uh, in terms of pathing, let's just do circular path. It probably makes the most sense. Uh, mass soul stacking. Mass soul stacking, not mass soul stacking. Uh, and I think that's good for now. We could go smart stakes, definitely powerful, but I think I'll wait a little bit. Uh, but I suppose... No, let, let's wait for the... Let's wait for the both up. Let's wait for the upgrades, not the both upgrades. Let's wait for both of the upgrades. We'll go Smart Stakes, then Feast of the Damned, and then we can get our other character set up, uh, and we'll have our full support. Probably won't take very long. We'll probably have everything set up by, like, round 30. 
Hunter Marcelin is all things considered a pretty cheap tower. Her upgrades aren't that bad. They're pretty cheap, not that expensive. So we should be able to get everything set up pretty darn quickly, which is pretty helpful. In fact, I believe that's both upgrades right there. We can already start getting the other towers because, you know, they're pretty darn cheap as well. Uh, we can go for Marcelin next. We'll do PB. We'll buy the upgrade. Was there any other? Oh, right. There's all of Tuxedo Jake's upgrades. Let's just go for Marcelin first. I will do, um, well, I'll actually buy the upgrades for Tuxedo Jake later. So, Marcelin, you can sit in a corner and watch your past self. I think it's actually her past self. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. Can I just go to lock in place? There we go. I'm pretty sure Hunter Marcelin is a past version of Marcelin, but she might be a future version of Marcelin. I guess it depends on what version of Marcelin is in this game. I mean, like, pre-show, but I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Tixier Jake, or not Tixier Jake. Man, I'm mixing up names. Hunter Marcelin, the other version of Marcelin. I would say Marcelin, watch your other self, but you just want to stare into the corner. Fine by me, do whatever you want. <laughs> Player instrument, stand in the corner as long as your buff is still applied. Oh right, enhanced bombs as well. I can also get that thanks to PB. And now we should be able to go for Tixier Jake's upgrades, which will help a bit as well. Not quite sure how much, but they might help a little bit. Um... Then we have Cobra's upgrades, and then we should be good. So yeah, a little after round 30. I don't think there's any other towers here that are that important. I probably could have gone for a Pierce buff for Max, but I forgot about him. Uh, and I don't think we have any- Oh, right, Lemon Hope. Lemon Hope's important as well. Okay, so let's just plop down Lemon Hope now. I just want to double check. Yeah, nothing else. Lemon Hope, let's get in there. We'll buy your upgrades first, because you're pretty cheap. And there we- That did not work, because the round ended. There we go! Uh, Tixie or Jake, we'll buy the rest of your upgrades. $5,500, man. Tuxedo Jake is very expensive, his later upgrades. Uh, I don't even know what kind of attack speed up it is. I have a feeling it's like a 5% attack speed boost. But you know, I suppose, better than nothing. I'm tempted not to use it though, because in our current situation, I'll buy this too, and sure this as well. Uh, none of these towers actually have pops, and I don't think any of them can except Tuxedo Jake if I use the ability, so. I mean, obviously all the Cobras can, the Cobras actually have pops. Never mind then, never mind, just forget that. Also, never mind, Tuxedo Jake will buy your upgrade later. Not important of an up not important enough of an upgrade. I'd rather go for well, for Cobras first. Not to mention with Cobras or without Cobras rather. Uh, Tuxedo Jake's not actually that helpful. That ability it doesn't make much of a difference. Uh, but anyways, we're pretty darn close to affording it anyways. We only need like a hundred more bucks. There we go. Fame has been purchased, and I believe that is everything. Take one more look through the allies list, but I don't think there's anything else we need to get. Um, no, we are good. So now there's just a building cooldown and uh, watching and seeing what's gonna happen. Honestly, I have a pretty good feeling about this. I feel like Hunter Marston's gonna do a pretty good job, but it is hard to tell. You sort of have to wait. Also, why is there still, oh, this the Candy King weapon? I can't tell. There's Candy Kings on this map, but considering there's three of them, I thought it was a Christmas event thing, but the Christmas event's over, so I guess not. I guess it's just a natural part of the map. Like at all of these maps, including this one, have like various trinkets and weapons, like there's like PB's like Gumball Blaster over here. Um, they're all here, so like various maps have them pop up in random locations, usually as like treasures or whatever thrown about. Uh, but there's three different of the Candy Cane like shotguns, one for weapons, but there's three of them, so I thought that would have been from an event. But uh, it's I guess it's more than possible they're just normally here. It is still a snow thing, which is often associated with holidays no matter what. Uh, so that's certainly possible as well. Who knows, maybe it was a map added around holiday. Hard to know. I was not here when these maps were added. Maybe it was in the base game. Maybe it came from this. Maybe it was came in the first Christmas event. Who knows? Well, I mean, I'm sure some of you know, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we will just... I don't know. Probably not a big deal. If you know, definitely let me know, but it's probably not that important. Also, ZMG coming up in five rounds. That'll be another good test. We will see how powerful Hunter Marcelin is. I mean, we've seen Hunter Marcelin demolish CMGs though, so really, we just have to wait for the bad balloon. Before the bad balloon, nothing else should, or nothing else should, nothing else probably will be all that crazy. It should be pretty easy to do. Smooth sailing shouldn't be that bad. Ugh. I don't know if it sounds weird to you. I'm listening to myself, and I feel like my voice sounds off today. If it does, I apologize. If it's not, and it's just me being crazy, then I also apologize. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's bothering me and keep listening. I feel like that's one thing that happens though. If you listen to your voice a lot, it sounds stranger and stranger and stranger the more you listen to it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I feel like that happens a fair bit. 
But I also feel sometimes when I, I mean, I've gotten more used to it now, because whenever I edit the video, I have to listen to my own voice, but, um, I definitely used to and still do a little bit when I hear my voice, or especially in older, like, videos, I hear my voice and I'm like, that's, that's very strange, that doesn't sound like me. But I feel like that does happen, you have a very odd perspective of your voice. Also, that CMG got destroyed, I didn't even mention that. Uh, but yeah, you have a very odd perspective of your voice when you hear your own, like, when you hear yourself while you're speaking, versus when you hear yourself in a recording. Because when you hear yourself from you speaking, like, when you hear yourself speaking, uh, the noise and sounds always come from that same angle. So you always hear yourself in the same way, but it's distorted, because it's not actually how you hear yourself. I feel like sometimes you just hear yourself inside your own brain, it's... I guess you don't really, but in my mind, that's just how I picture it. That when you're talking, you don't actually hear yourself speak. You hear yourself talk through it in your mind. Again, maybe that's complete nonsense. It's only true for me. But I feel like that's how it feels a lot of the time. But anyways, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of random. But I feel like that does happen to me a fair bit. And I figured I'd mention it. And yeah. Uh, let's actually try some of these buildings. We have a ZMG here. Let's, let's go all out. How powerful does she get? I didn't notice a difference in the slightest. That didn't seem much better. But I guess it's only a couple of percentage of attack speed bonus, like what, 20, 30 uh, percent? And that may or may not be additive slash multiplicative or whatever. So maybe it's not even that big of a difference. Maybe it's actually like a five percent increase to damage. In which case, yes, that would not be very noticeable. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we really should be fine. These later rounds do go by very fast. First DTs this round. Anything interesting? That was the DT. The green blues that popped on, on the screen. I guess that was the DT. What do you know? Uh, so yeah, DT is definitely not an issue, given that I didn't even see them appear on screen in the slightest. Uh, now we're only five rounds away from the Babaloon. But I do notice that these later rounds definitely go by much, much faster. Early rounds can take a while, but the later rounds tend to go by very quickly. Yeah, we probably could have done this in the same video as last time, but I feel like I just, I feel better separating it to some degree. I don't know. Maybe if we're done and I'll put them together, we'll see. Because Santa Marston is doing this quite quickly. I'm paranoid a little. I'm like, wait, should I combine the two videos? It's too late now. Other one's already out. Uh, but what can you do? Again, as I said, it is too late now. Okay, Fortified DT, much, much worse. Uh, we didn't steal the soul of that first one, but still, that got significantly farther. Uh, ZMGs, let's actually use some abilities here. I keep wanting to use the soul steal ability, or like level 7 ability, but then the, as soon as I'm about to use it, the balloons already have the soul stolen from her, and I'm like, well, then what's the point? Why do I have this if it doesn't work some of the time? It seems to have a, like, balloon limit or a pierce limit, and it also just, you do it yourself. Ugh. So many issues with the ability, so many flaws. Also, bad balloon time, let's actually use the abilities here. Looking at the damage, I said, why can I not click on this? There we go. Looking at the damage, it's pretty decent, but it doesn't look all that much better than last time. Uh, and obviously the map, I think, is a little bit shorter. I don't honestly know. Though it does look like we're certainly gonna pop it. It's already on its last damage phase. I will slow this down for the ability. Not that the ability will necessarily matter that much. It's like one of the few good uses of the ability. And that, I swear, I know you can't see me, like, my finger or whatever, but I swear, I pressed that ability button before it actually activated. I had to press it again. Also, that's a lot of stakes. When Hunter Marston, like, rotates around, you just see a flurry come out. Uh, but no, not a big issue. Pierce was definitely a good idea, because we almost... That's funny. So, no, ZMG is destroyed, but what we almost lost to was piles and piles of red balloons. Of course that was the case. Of course. I find that quite funny, but I mean, yeah, Pierce definitely helped out then. And hey, what do you know, we ranked up too. That's great. I guess, because we didn't... Did we win last time? No, we didn't win last time. I don't even know if I cheated it. I don't know. We didn't win last time, I don't think. But there we go. Another victory. Pretty good job, Hunter Marslin. Nothing too crazy, but you add... Well, what, what was what was I going to say? I don't know. You're added to the records. You were one more tower that could beat round 75 on Blackheart, the second hardest map in the game. On a probable when ultra buff. You know, very, very specific, but hey, it's something. As I think I mentioned last time, I do kind of want to try these again with some of the towers that won this on a harder map. So I'm going to take a look to make sure I haven't done that already, and if so, next tomorrow's video may or may not be um, Super Monkey on the actual hardest map on the game, Ultra Buffed, if I haven't done it already, which I probably feels like I did. I don't know. I'm going to take a look. If I have, I'm not going to do it. If I haven't, obviously, then I probably will do it, so that's just a heads up, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Consider the video a like if you enjoyed, 
and subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. We are super duper close to 2400 subscribers and it'll be really awesome if we reach that soon. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!